For centuries, this used to be the European way. In the 20th century, twice, we Europeans tried to commit collective suicide, and this is the result. If fear takes over in society, if hatred of the other becomes a norm, this is where we end up. Neighbors lying together in a cemetery who had fought each other and killed each other in two world wars. Europe has learned this lesson. This is a mistake we need to avoid. Every time when we are challenged, this is a risk we run. How do we respond to that? With extreme nationalism? No. I strongly believe that the answer to the challenges of today, which are manifold, such as terrorism based on jihadism, is not to fall for the temptation of fear, is not to fall for the temptation of hatred for the other. Nationalism is like alcoholism, a short period of exaltation, followed by a long period of headaches. Nationalism makes us poor because its Siamese twin protectionism will destroy the internal market and disrupt international trade. Nationalism makes us weak because its eternal seeking of enemies, its disdain of others, its need to feel superior makes cooperation with other nations to collectively guarantee our freedom and security much more difficult. So if nationalism makes us poor, weak and morally insecure, how can it claim to be patriotic? I maintain that nationalists are unpatriotic. A true patriot is proud of his nation, wants it to be strong, peaceful, prosperous, values-based. To achieve that, a true patriot knows he needs unity, he wants openness, he craves cooperation with others. He sees the strength found in compromise, debate and unity. To be a patriot is to be European. To be European is to be a patriot. <laughs>